Hi guys, I'm Lindsay with Competitive Edge, and today I wanted to talk to you about a shoulder tear. So many of you might have been told that you have a tear in your shoulder, or you might have a family member who've told you that their shoulder is torn. And I wanted to shed some light on what that is and what that means. So most of us assume the word torn means that it's totally torn into two separate pieces, it's going to be like that forever, it can't heal. And when it comes to the body and a shoulder tear, uh, that's actually not the case. So what I wanted to teach you today is that there's three different types of tears to a muscle and what that means um, and what that means for you and your life and how you can heal from it. So as I said, there's three types. The first type, a first degree tear, they call it, um, all that means is that there's some irritation in the muscle. So if these fibers going this way uh, are the muscle, there's absolutely no damage to it in a first degree tear. It's a little irritated, maybe it's a little inflamed, it's painful, but structurally that muscle is fine and there's nothing structurally wrong or torn about it. So the, the word tear is pretty misleading when it comes to a first degree. <clears throat> now there's a second degree and what that means is that there's a little bit of damage to it. So again, if this is the muscle, it's got, you know, this part is torn. So it's not all the way through, but there is a little bit of damage there. Now the beautiful thing about our bodies is we can heal. So the body can heal that. The body will take these fibers and they'll go back together and they'll heal back over. Um, and afterwards you won't be able to see that tear. There'll be no structural damage long term from that. So it is something that you can heal from. And a third degree tear, the worst kind, means that the whole muscle is torn and that there is some separation between the muscle fibers. Now, if those fibers are really close together and they're laying there um, and you're in a sling or that kind of thing, uh, or any, any muscle in the whole body, if it's torn and they're close together, it can heal back over and it can become intact again. Now, if those fibers do migrate farther apart, then obviously the body can't heal that back over because it's farther apart. And that's the extreme situation where they might recommend surgery to reattach it. Um, but again, once it is reattached later on in your life, you won't be able to see that on any kind of scan. There's no structural damage long term. So that's what I'm here to tell you is just because there's a tear in your shoulder doesn't mean that that tear is going to last for your entire life. So if you had a tear when you were 20, it doesn't mean that you'll still have that tear when you're 50 years old. I know that the term is very misleading, tear, you think it's torn, it's done, it's gone for forever, but that's actually not the case. Our bodies are pretty amazing and we heal from this. <clears throat> The next thing that I wanted to tell you is what you can do if you have a tear. So if it's something recent that's happened, an incident that happened recently, you tore your shoulder, um, you were told that you had a, a tear of some kind in your shoulder, um, I would recommend reaching out for help with the recovery. So a lot of things can happen to that muscle uh, because it hurts to use that muscle, because it's irritated, it's inflamed. Your body is going to choose to do things differently. You're going to start to develop compensation patterns around that muscle because your body doesn't want to use that muscle, it hurts. So it's going to overuse other muscles. So it's going to create compensation patterns. It's also going to put your shoulder into a position that it feels is safer. It's going to try to protect you. So that shoulder might start to round forward. Um, so it's in a protected position, which long term can lead to more pain and more shoulder injuries. So I really recommend seeking out someone that can help you with your recovery so that you can make sure it's healing in a good position so that it doesn't give you problems long term. Now, if the tear isn't recent, you tore it years ago, uh, and you're still getting pain, likely what happened is that your body did heal in a compensated position, and now the pain that you're getting is from those compensation patterns and from other things going on, pulling on the joint, irritating that muscle, that kind of thing. So it's secondary problems that have happened since your initial injury that are now leading to your pain. So again, I recommend that you reach out to a healthcare practitioner, a therapist, speak to one of our athletic therapists if you need some help, but find someone that can give you some guidance about how to recover and how to eliminate your pain. Because as I mentioned, a tear does not mean that it's torn for forever. So please don't settle for being in pain for the rest of your life. Don't settle for taking painkillers. Uh, there is a solution out there. So seek out that solution, find someone to help you. Um, we'd be happy to help if you're in Calgary and you're looking for assistance. Um, I hope you have a great day. Send me any questions if you have any. Bye-bye.